an episode actually I was a crew member on one of Maurice Carver's shows and I loved his format the fact that he had intelligent black people both men and women talking about topics that was relative to the time so I enjoy being a member of Black Men Screaming and I will always support his show <laughs> Black Men Screaming is a show that I think is, is, is very relevant, obviously, uh, when you think of the times. You have people talking about the issues that's taking place in a black community, uh, not just locally, not just in New York, but all over. It's a, sort of a watchtower, to, so to speak, to look at issues that are coming up, to inform people about things that are threatening their rights. Um, it's a, it's a beacon. Uh, Let's be real about it. Can you help me with the bottom, bottom, bottom of the stack? Yes, and look at all of them. You're not going to get all of them. Yeah. Standing up and testifying. Because yeah. people, people forgot, and this is the problem, and this is what you said, Lord, because when you stand up, it costs you something. How you doing? My name is Maurice Carver, and my organization that I started was called Stride Incorporated. One of the things we tried to do was we tried to um, be positive, and one of the things I got tired of seeing all the time was negative images about black men or black people on TV and it really wasn't any avenue or forum where we could come together like they do on Sunday mornings and talk about issues that are concern the community. You know, extending unemployment, whether it's equal, you know, pay for women, you know, he definitely would have brought up gay rights. So we decided to create our own show so we can have an avenue to express ourselves and to um, present positive images of black men and women. Well, actually, mostly black men at this particular point because the show was named after them. And one of the things that I, I remember is I remember watching some movie, and, I, and it was um, there was an image of this guy that was out there talking to the to, uh, this TV camera people, and it was just so negative. And I said to myself, "That's not my existence. That's now not the people that I surround myself with. I know that we have people that are just as articulate and intelligent that can express their, their um, opinions on issues from a variety of uh, different uh, areas. And I, and I said to myself, since uh, regular Main Street TV doesn't present that type of option, we need to create our own. So this is why we're doing Black and Screaming. Of course, you have to scream to be heard. Be a leadership for a community to survive is grassroots on the block in the building, on the corner. People who are concerned about their communities, concerned about the trees, concerned about the streets being clean, all of that adds together, the accumulated aggregation of that, develops <coughs> leadership for the whole community as a whole. I've been a part of uh, Black Men Screaming in the role of a permanent guest for quite some time now, about 10 years now, and I want to say I'm really proud to be a part of this this program. Not only is the content pertinent and very important, as well as informative, but the quality of the program itself always struck me as something that is really what public access is all about. Maurice Carver has been doing this for, I believe, about 15 years, and he's had a great group of people who've been working with him behind the camera, in front of the camera, and it shows with the quality of the show. For example, we had the civil rights movement and you had a lot of people that stood in the background, you didn't know they were doing stuff, like Louis Armstrong was supplying money to help people, bailing people out of jail and all that, Sammy Davis Jr. Where's that generation now? We got the LeBrons, we got the Michaels, we got the Charles Oak, the Barclays on TV or whatever, Expound, expounding on nothing and saying, you know, saying nothing and being about nothing. You know, they're not at the forefront or, or at their age thinking about Mr. 50 years old, what is going to be my legacy? No one wants to stand alone. So until we get that grassroots movement, you're not going to have Michael Jordan saying, here's some money, go do something with it. And even if it's to the point where you get a grassroots movement and it's embarrassing for them not to do something, that's even a movement in the right direction. But we don't have that 
we don't have that situation existing. And, and so, and, when I, and, and I know people say, well, why are you concerned about what they're doing? Well, because I spend money to support what they're doing. So therefore, if I can, if they can be, a, I can be a part of their economy. Why can't they be a part of mine? Why can't they take that money and invest? Why can't there be some type of consciousness that says that I'm connected to this community and not and be unapologetically black about it? Yeah. Bring this back into focus again. So we talked about immigration and we talked about there's there's a strategy of the administration to push for you know people to be able to become citizens. We see that there is not a component that really addresses the issues of those people coming from the Caribbean or from Africa, because most of this is focused on the Latino community, because we allow them to dominate the conversation and focus on their community instead of our community. There is no conflict, or I don't want to promote any conflict between the African American community and the Latino community. We have to find ways to, to come together and work together and, and work on shared issues so that we can get things done. Anyone who sees the show, whether it's locally or around the country, has nothing but good things to say about it. But again, this is what public access is all about, and I hope he continues to do it for many more years. Uh, right now, I'm going to give you a celebration of See why you watch Blackness Women for a television conversation with the television people back with more of it in just a moment.